Hi there. Um, I'm going to be uh, showing a, a short video of um, silkscreen process. Uh, they call it a touche method. I don't know what they call it today, but basically it's a um, using a drawing fluid and a screen filler. Everything is going to be drawn right onto the screen uh, to create this uh, to create this silkscreen piece. My name is Rolando, and uh, let's get to it. So here I have a, um, a blow-up uh, copy of my original drawing. It's, uh, I, I used it to size. It's a drawing of Arbutus. Uh, we find them a lot here on the Gulf Island. It's a really beautiful tree. So that's going to be my subject on this silk screen. I used that reference for getting the original layout and composition. This is the third layer of ink. It's a long process. Um, and this is a, uh, a third layer of ink that I'm doing. So, um, I used to plan color separation with transparencies and tracing paper. It would take a day of preparation trying to choose color and how many layers. Now I just draw directly onto the screen. I always have my uh, reference with me. So I'm using this um, drawing fluid, applying the drawing fluid right onto the screen and drawing what I think is a good representation of cyan. I'm using a stiff brush because I wanted to get that brush stroke texture onto the print. Um, I don't know what this brush is for but it's very stiff. It's very, uh, uh, it's not tight. So keeping in mind uh, this is just a single color. I'm trying to separate it mentally what the uh, what the color would be. Um, that would be cyan. So let that dry completely and once it's dry pour the filler and swipe an even coat with a squeegee. One coat is good enough uh, because it's a short one. Um, here I'm cleaning the um, let the filler dry and then I'm cleaning the uh, drawing fluid with warm water using microfiber. That's the easy part is just cleaning that drawing fluid. Um, uh, we use the sugar water or uh, something that's easily soluble. And I'm ready to print. Again this is the third color. It's the same process from previous layer. So mentally I have a plan what I'm going to be using um, and how I'm going to separate the colors and so on. There. A couple of times because it's a uh, it, it's it's a big coverage. I lift it slowly. I usually tip the um, the paper because I don't want it to stick on the screen. It would have streaks on it. Um, flood the screen so it doesn't dry on the screen. It's not good to let it dry on the screen because it's it's kind of hard to uh, to wash it off. And here's the result of that um, of that cyan. And there's another version of it. So at this point, once I do the series, I did about 20 or something. Once I do the series, I wash the screen with a screen washer or detergent or Mr. Clean or whatever. That's the hard part, reclaiming the screen and then move on to the next color. In this case, it's uh, orange. I'm just using a water soluble ink. Swipe once and twice, and again, flood the screen. It's really important because once it's dry, it's really hard to get off. I usually pre-mix the, um, the paint so I know 
kind of exactly what I wanted. And there's the um, there's the orange. As you can see with the blue here, I used two blues, uh, one light blue and the other dark blue, and I it's another layer of colors. So uh, this is um, red. It's red oxide, and I lay it on the red oxide. It looks like magenta from here, but uh, it's red oxide and the yellow. So this is just part of the process that I'm, I'm doing. There's no real plan, there's no real uh, transparency to so tracing paper that I'm using. I'm just using my reference, my watercolor reference to separate the colors and if I need, if I need more uh, I would add more layer or, uh, or I would think if it's good enough, it's good enough. Sometimes you know it doesn't seem to get the right, the right thing to it, so I usually add a little more layer. In this case, I think I added about nine, eight or nine layers, and that's the one with the yellow. So that's just part of it, and I added more colors after that. Thanks for watching.